Okay, welcome back to another video. Uh, I had a whole shot figured out for the past two days on this, but uh, I'm just gonna restart it. Uh, so this week we got a new bumper for the rear end. The Z's finally getting tied together. Um, I'm just gonna let the intro roll and then I'll talk about what's going on. Welcome back. So, uh, as you can see, I had a mask on. I just finished sanding down the new bumper. There were a few cracks that I bonded and wanted to get kind of sorted out before it gets sent to wrap. Um, but there was a whole bit I filmed of me removing this bumper, the original one, um, which is right here. Uh, and it didn't go very well, but there were a few key components that you guys missed. Anyways, the main thing, I'm just gonna do a re recap over it. Um, tail lights are out. The trunk light, or trunk release and the uh, plate lights are out. Tail lights are out. Uh, these are the slides for the OEM style uh, grommet right here. Uh, we are not going to be running those on this bumper as much as I'd like to. Um, I don't want to take those out of this bumper because they are riveted in and it's not easy to do that, but I like keeping this OEM, so I'm going to keep this in case I ever want to go back. Um, but we have transferred the majority of everything over. Uh, I picked this bumper up over the weekend, got it kind of ready to go. Uh, the grill did come in, or the mesh come in today. So you can see on this side, it is pretty much ready to go. Um, I did go ahead and sand here, there, 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 and there. Uh, they were very finite cracks. This was a lot worse than any of the other ones. So I made sure to get, get that all good and go. But the whole bumper is pretty much ready for done for prep wise. So I'm gonna do a test fit here, see if we can get this thing on here by myself, which will be a little challenging. Um, but we're gonna do our best and toss this thing on there and hopefully it looks, looks good. So yeah. Okay, so we got it soft soft mounted um i did go ahead and install the grills they're looking pretty swank uh i really do like how these all look um except from far away it looks good uh it really complements the wing nice this is like exactly the silhouette i've been trying to go for this is where some issues are right now um one of the ears right in here that is supposed to be complete right here uh, is broken so there's a bunch of other holes drilled here from previous mounting attempts but it should be like this obviously and uh, it's not so we are gonna work on that on this side for sure could definitely use something I don't know what we're gonna have to do but we'll figure it out and then um, on this side it's okay pretty droopy in the back which I'm not super jazzed on to be honest with you oh well maybe that's why no, still kind of sagging. Um, but the lineup on the here is obviously better now. If I just uh, jiggle it. Oh, God damn. Okay, maybe not. Um, yeah, so this is a work in progress. We definitely got some stuff to do. I think we're going to transfer the slides over like I said I didn't want to do, but I think the cars, these, this bumper is going to need it. Um, and then it'll just be full OEM mounting, which will make life a lot easier. But. Here's a good look. Well, maybe not this side, because this side's got the weird bumper shit going on or not. But this side, well, maybe not, you can't even really see it. But you can kind of see it, how it ties in all the way to the front. Obviously the tail lights aren't in, so this is not really a good example, but overall, that side silhouette is gonna be super, super aggressive. So uh, yeah, I think probably not today, probably tomorrow. Uh, I'm gonna transfer over those slides and get the rest of this thing sorted out. But uh, currently, I'm happy with this. But definitely need some more prep work. So we'll get to that tomorrow and we'll cut to that clip of us doing that done. So that's a perfect YouTube analogy. You guys get what I'm saying. All right, so we're back. Um, it is the day after the last clip, like I said. Just got off work. I uh, got the new tripod set up. So way more locked in, better angles, hopefully. Um, what I'm gonna do and what I'm gonna start off with is I'm gonna eat, then I'm gonna come back out and I'm gonna get those brackets off the OEM bumper like I said, pull the, uh, the VIS racing bumper off and then transfer those brackets over and hopefully we can get a really good fit with those guys on there. Uh, I am just gonna drill out those rivets um, and then put some new, pull some new ones on the uh, fiberglass because I really want this thing to fit good and I'm having issues with this uh, driver's side where it just won't stay tucked. So, uh, as you guys saw also, that screw won't go in. So if we have that bracket in there, maybe we can get a better lineup, hopefully. And uh, yeah, so we'll get into it and we'll start by drilling out those rivets. All right, so to start off, we're gonna drill out these two rivets right here. Uh, I got my 
drill bit set here. I'm just gonna find one that matches the actual center hole to uh, get this bad boy out. Um, and we'll go from there. This should be pretty straightforward, hopefully. All right, off the bat, that guy seems to be good. That is a uh, three, three seconds. So put on the gun here, see how this goes. This might be really horrible. That'd be really nice, let's find out. Broke the plastic off, that is what it is. There we go. Cool. Just got a piece of metal stuck on the drill. So that's, you know, not the end of the world. See if I can get it through here. There we go. Very good. Ta da! So there's one bracket. That's that driver's side, like I was talking about. Kind of forms in right there. Pretty cool piece. Um, I'm gonna pull the other side now and then uh, we'll get that bumper off and mount those guys. All right, so now we're gonna pop the, uh, the boot. Cause I cut both sides, we're good to go there. Put this guy up carefully. Um, and we can actually use the actual metal to run our bolt through. Since this fiberglass right here is kind of gone, it'll still sandwich up holding the bumper on the side. In theory, that's what we're going for. So, got our push pins again. I'm gonna toss these guys back on here. All right, so we got it mounted. Side brackets were a very big help. There's still a bit of a gap, as you can see, but I'm gonna honestly be okay with it. It's even on both sides. It's mounted using OEM hardware. Everything's plugged in. I'm gonna get the plate on, get the lights in, and then we're gonna get this bad boy outside so you guys can get a better look at it. And I'm gonna speed run this now. All right, so I did rush it. Got everything sorted. I know it's gonna be really loud, but uh, yeah, it's not great. I'm not gonna pretend like it is. That rear quarter looks so good. Let's see if I can get this. Uh... So yeah, it's loud as shit right now, obviously, because the car is running. But look at that. It's not perfect by any means, but um... wow, I love that. That silhouette's crazy. All right, I'm gonna pull it out. So, as you guys can see, the last clip was a bit chaotic, but I promise you, um, this is perfect. This is exactly how I wanted the car to end up. Um, as you guys know, the inspiration for this car is D1, GT500, kind of those early 2000s drift and track cars. Um, so the VIS does no rear end with the extended deck and then the Ings front. They pair perfectly. Um, obviously, next step in this car's process is to get that rear bumper wrapped, get it all taken care of. Uh, so that's all in color again, but for right now, the silhouette is perfect. I love it. Um, and I appreciate you guys for tuning in and checking out the video. Uh, as you guys know, there's a bunch more stuff like this, drifting builds, all of that in the description below. Go check it out, check out the channel. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed watching me struggle for about three days trying to figure out what we were gonna do with this rear bumper. So anyways, I'll catch you guys next time. Have a great night, bye-bye.